What? Okay. You just farted. <laughs> it's more recording, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to decide whether to keep that or not. Oh, boy. Please, please let me keep oh, that. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm going to keep that in. Uh, hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, episode 5 of J-Dog and Rye Bread. Uh, you can you know lean into your microphone. A little bit. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, the don't lean into your microphone. Sound like a fucking guy who's echoing from two miles away. And sound like I'm in the distance. Yeah. Like over a hill. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's annoying. I almost hello, want to, hello, want to hello. fucking shoot you in your face. Help me, help me. Um so there there's some good news coming up. Uh indeed. Yeah. Um I'm getting uh a new food tub. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see us or not. Oh wait, you can. It's a podcast. Yeah. Uh, but this one is a little, uh, a little beat up. It sees some yeah. more. Yeah. So. Oh, your birthday's also tomorrow, but that's not that important. The futon is. The oh, that's the thing. main. Yeah. This futon's old. It's gotta go. Yeah, the futon's more important. Uh, your oh. birthday is maybe like the third, fourth most important thing for tomorrow. I don't know what's more old, the futon I gotta, or me. I gotta take a shit tomorrow. That's probably my second priority. That is, oh, that that's lovely. Thanks. Yeah. 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 So, how old are you turning? Tomorrow. I am turning in the big old 29. 29, 29. 29. I, uh, I don't want to turn 29. Oh, wait, I am 29. <laughs> oh, that's right. You got the next scary one yeah. coming up. Uh, like 3 0. 3 0. Uh, and then that's it after. That's it. Mm. Um, oh, dear. Yeah. Um, I, I got you a gift yesterday. I got you Days Gone. You're playing, yes. you're playing Days Gone now, right? Yep, on the PS4. Yeah. How are you liking it? Uh, it's better than I thought it would be. It's uh, a little tedious at points, but I like it. The story's good. It's kind of confusing in the beginning, but then it kind of like starts off in the middle of the story, kind of. Mm. So it doesn't. And then throughout the story, you learn about like how this happened. Yeah. Where the character's at and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's good. I like it. I'm enjoying it. It's The map is bigger than I thought. It, it expands once you get past a certain mission. There's how do you want the more second map? So can you, can you ride the motorcycle? properly yes you can yes you can okay. which is great when you're being chased because it's very realistic how you just don't jump on right away it takes a moment to start and sometimes it doesn't so it's kind of uh, a little nerve-wracking for time so uh but it's good Keep sam Whitworth. Those. he's the main guy he is the main guy is he a cool he, character uh he's very cool yeah he's a cool dude he's cool dude. um yeah. very tragic backstory you know he's you know one of those types talking about like a joel backstory or something <sighs> yes and no it's yeah. There's similarities, of course. Yeah. Um, the character model even looks like Sam Witwer with a beard. Is he cooler than Joel? No. Who'd win the fight, Joel or Sam Witwer from Days Gone? Oh, that's a that's a who'd win the fight? Oh, that's a uh, Mr. Miyagi would, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Just shows up. You'd have a we... heart attack before the zombies came. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think that's actually how he went. Yeah. Oh, that got dark. I um, think Joel because Joel's a little more brutal, probably. Yeah, Joel's but... Joel's cold-blooded. Yeah, Joel but... Joel kill a Sam fucking Whit child, Sam Whitworth's character is, uh, is a biker, so... Uh, I think it would be, like, Ty, but I think maybe Joel would. Yeah, Joel Joel, Joel would murder a child if he had to. He'd do anything, man. Joel, Joel's a ruthless fucker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Joel, Joel would kill anyone. That's why I love him. That's why I'm, sexu up. I'm sexually aroused by Joel. I know, I'm looking at... Whoa, oh, whoa! whoa. Get whoa. stay in there. <laughs> Get out of here, Joel. <laughs> I call him Baby Joel. Oh. Yeah. Then Lindsay just says, no, not tonight. Oh, and then not we, tonight, Joel. No, no, not tonight. That's <laughs> right. I was going to actually, I was going to get you a hooker for your birthday. A hooker. Oh, not again. Yeah, a hooker. Uh, there was like $40 to $400. And I'm like, oh, $400, nothing's too good for my buddy. The inner cheapness in me says go for the 40 Yeah. Um, $40, she looked like um, maybe like 90 guys pound through her. So I don't know if you'd want that. That's like a water pussy. You just, you'll just like leak. like a water bed. Yeah, yeah. You'll Ooh. just you'll leak into her vagina. It's like a amusement park. Okay, one of those little dingy ones. But the four hundred dollar like, ones are classy, man. Now, can I write this off of my taxes? Yes. You know? Oh, yes. even better. Even yeah, and, and go for the really expensive one because I want to write off a lot. Oh, seriously, so would you be with a hooker? No. So if I actually got you a hooker, would you ever get? You I'd would... laugh. Be like, because that would never happen. But no, I'm yeah. good. So I'm if I that. actually spent the money on a hooker. You would not sleep with her. I'm gonna put it this way: uh, I let, gave her the money. It was in advance. Then she's having a great night. But let me put it this way: it's gonna sound really bad, but uh, if you, do you like going to thrift stores? Used yeah. clothing? Yeah. Would you ever wear used no. clothing? No. 
Ah, okay. So you like to look, but you just don't like to wear. Yeah. Ah, you see where I'm going with this? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then I'm sure the audience does. Uh, you want to... Well, she was, like, gorgeous. We're talking about, like, Gal Gadot gorgeous. Yeah, I don't think Gal Gadot is on the market. Oh, so. you know, like, those, like, high price hookers? They're good looking. I think the term you're looking for is escorts. Yes, escorts. Don't ask me how I know that. Yeah, so what if it, like... I've lived. Have you seen Toronto. Firefly? Yes, I've seen and, Firefly. And, yes. and Nora? Yeah, the woman. She's was, hot. She's yeah, a she, hooker. She's a hooker. Yeah, it's more like a companion, though. But like, well, I know, but like in the future of Firefly, hookers are like... That's the high-end jobs. That's like well, being yeah, a senator. <laughs> it's one of those jobs that's been through the centuries and all civilizations, yeah. because wherever you go, through, even in ancient Rome, whatever, there's always people looking for comfort. Always, like, And it's, always, it's one of the oldest professions in the world, because it's something everybody needs. A companion. I forgot you a male hooker. Oh, then sure. Okay. You're really ninety year old man. Who's <laughs> yeah. You know, take a few breaths, just coming down two flights. This is Rusty. Through. Rusty. Oh yeah. That's just not his name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Saggy Tits. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh look at those gray hairs. Oh. Would you believe it? He was the four hundred dollar hooker. <laughs> <laughs> he was the four. He's gonna need it because he's gonna blow a hip out. Um, I yeah. I. Uh, I don't need a hooker. I have a girlfriend, so uh, I would hope not. No, I don't. Have I would hope one. not. No, Jesus. I don't need one. And the funny thing is, even when I was single, uh, there were times I actually thought about being with a hooker, but it was scary. It kind of scared me a little. <laughs> really? Yeah. When I'm when I was single, I was I was too scared to be with a hooker. Too scared. I mean, with the STDs and everything. Yes. No. Yeah. I'm, no and thanks. She I've... can even tell me she's clean, but I still I'd be scared. That's Sarah. good though. It's good to be very um, conscious yeah. of like your sexual health yeah. and like those because those some you know a lot of them are curable, but then there are some where it's just they just sneak up on you. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that's good that you know. No Is night. one night of fun worth maybe a whole no. life of horror? <laughs> uh no no no. There's also just, yeah. just go look at some adult videos. There's also and some your, hookers. Your, your urge will go away. There's also hookers who have pimps, and then I'm not saying this is a real thing. They get guys on the internet, and they have like ads and everything. And then when they show up to a hotel, their pimps there and they rob them. There's no deal. Oh like, yeah, that's oh, a, yeah. that's actually a real thing. That's people, a scam. Yeah, yeah, people look for hookers. They find one, but really it's like a guy and a girl there, and they rob you. They take all yep. your money, and there's no sex and everything. Yep. So literally, you're just fucked out of your money. <laughs> well, either way, you're screwed. Yeah. So and not in the fun way, that unfortunately. Also, there's other ones. Uh, sometimes they're undercover cops. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. There's undercover cops pretending to be prostitutes. I, Not I'm one. Oh, I'm, a, I'm an undercover gigolo. Uh, I always wonder. I actually want to tell my brother because my brother's a cop. Like, would you go undercover as a hooker? <laughs> It'd be very beautiful. Very... <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so uh, hookers, they're people too, but uh, maybe you shouldn't buy one. <laughs> uh, so uh, let keep your keep your receipt. So, you can return so I don't know what Ryan was talking about hookers for. This is very inappropriate. So oh, uh, I'm going to talk about one thing. Uh, this is a question that is running through my mind for about a few weeks now. Is Polly Shore funnier than Adam Sandler? <laughs> um, is he funnier oh, than Adam Sandler? They're both very different types of funny. You have like, <laughs> you know, yeah, then you have like a chip. Is Polly Shore? So it's very different. Um, Polly Shore looks whenever he walks or talks, he looks like he's being like in the middle of being possessed, but it's mm. gone horribly wrong. Yeah, the way he walks and you know does the weird thing with his fingers and the oh yeah, because he's a weasel apparently. Um, um he's uh, I feel like if you if you actually did movies, ju- I'm talking about Polly Shore exactly how he acts in all his movies. If he did it in his movies now. I'm not trying to make a. I'm not. I, this is legit serious. People would think he had like Down syndrome or some oh mental or some mental illness. I mean, some people thought that back then. Like, it was like, the '90s. He doesn't talk like a human being. If not a person with mental illness, someone from another planet. No. If you want a good reference, look up the wonderful movie called Biodome. Yeah. He doesn't sound how a human being sounds. He doesn't talk sentences Here, how a human okay. being talks. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. We just. <laughs> So I showed Jordan the wonderful. We watched. Uh, it's been a while, but we watched Encino Man last night, oh. or as it's known in North America as California Man for some reason. Whatever it is, it's not good. And it it stars uh, Paul Shore and um Brendan, Brendan Fraser, Sean yep. Astin, yeah. So uh, Sean Astin and uh, Paul Shore, you know, they're these ninety very early nineties California guys, 
at Northern High School in the final year, the senior year, and they're digging a pool in the backyard, and they stumble upon this big block of ice, and lo and behold, it's uh, Brandon Fraser as a caveman, somehow. Yeah. Um, which is just perfect casting. Um, and then they, the whole point of the movie is they take him in because apparently he will make them look cool. Which he kind of does in a weird way. Doesn't make any sense. How's this so California man? But the way Pauly Shore talks is very like California lingo. It like makes no sense. I don't ever want to go to California. <laughs> but, it, but no, it doesn't do it now. But like in the nineties and eighties, they had their weird lingo. Oh. And you know how like Valley Girl speak? Yeah, okay. But like there were guys and they made it just like, <clears throat> Or they use these really like made up words. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's very of the time. He is uh I keep saying, though, if Pauly Shore ever came out of retirement from acting and he starred in a, um, a comeback movie about Richard Simmons, you know, the guy who worked out, lost a lot of weight, he looked, if he played him in a biopic now, he'd win an Oscar. He looks like him, and it would just be, like, the greatest thing ever. It'd be, like, the greatest comeback ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I... And, I then, and then I watched Son in Law, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, maybe Pauly Shore is like Adam Sandler. Maybe if he did a serious movie, he would be good. Maybe. I mean, look at Adam Sandler. If you would have told me... Um, Adam Sandler is not... I was not watching... Uh, yeah. um, what's that we know? Stop looking at me, Swan. Billy Madison. Billy Madison. If you yeah. told me when I was watching Bill Madison that this guy would be like, we should get an Oscar one day, I'd be like, okay. Okay. Then watch Uncut Gems. And, and then he... watch that, and it's like, yeah. how did this guy not even get a nomination? Uh, this guy is just... Wow. Yeah. So maybe Paul is short. So when we're talking about comedy, I- I'll say this. Adam Sandler's funnier than Pauly Shore. However, you're laughing at Adam Sandler's jokes. When you're laughing with Pauly Shore, you're laughing at his idiocy. How stupid. He, how stupid he, and how unfunny he is. He's the Tommy Wiseau of comedy. No. No. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I would almost say like he's like the Tom Green of maybe acting. Kind of. Well, Tom Green in, intentionally was bad. I think... Yes. He was very intentional. Holy Shore is trying to be funny, and he's not. And I it's... think he's a little funny just by how over-the-top weird it is. And I think that's what he's going for, and I think that's why it's funny. See, Adam Sandler is not funny, really. But Happy Gilmore, he is funny in that movie. It's more the situation, just him and that, like, uh, uh, this guy in that situation. Holy that's what makes it for. Yeah. It's funny. Holy Shore is not funny. Yeah. I laugh at him because he's not. It's like... <laughs> Okay, th- there's an episode of America's Got Talent. I don't know if it's brilliant or not. This is a standard comedian. He went on America's Got Talent. And his jokes aren't funny, but that's the joke, that his jokes aren't funny. You know who that reminds me of? Andy Kaufman. <laughs> yeah. Who would go out of his way to make not funny stuff. Yeah. And nobody would it's laugh. But it's actually genius. It's funny. and uh, He was way ahead of his time. Simon Cowell was laughing his ass off. He's like, you're the most unfunniest, funniest comedian I've ever seen. He's yeah. like, he's like, it's so bad. It's, it's hilarious. It's That's funny. what makes it funny. Yeah. So I'm like, is Pauly Shore doing that? But I don't know. Like, I don't know. That's kind of giving Nobody him... knows what's going on in Pauly Shore's mind. It's Tom scary. Green did that with Freddie Got Fingered. Oh, Lord. That's the point of that movie is it's supposed I'm to be... going to make the worst possible movie ever with the studio's yeah. money. That's and then the... the studio was shocked by like, what is this? He's just like, well, I made a movie for you. Yeah, that's so the joke. So he intentionally did that, and people said it's one of the worst movies ever made, but it's getting, like, reevaluated to say, like, is this, like, a masterpiece of, like, bad film? The joke is the movie I made. That's the joke. That's literally the that's whole the movie. Joke. The movie itself. Not the, not the content of the movie, but the movie itself is the joke. It's it's it, it, it exists. That's the joke. The fact that it's out there. It exists. People have literally seen it. It, it played in theaters. That's the joke. It's kind of funny. It is. He paid the he paid the yeah uh, wool over their eyes. The biggest f you to the studio. That's not a cheap movie either. So, so totally answer the question. Adam Sandler is funnier. Than oh yeah, hundred percent. He's funny, but there's different types of funny. So, but yeah, and but like for a broad spectrum, Adam Sandler. Adam Even with the stupid Netflix movies, he's still funnier. Which is weird. Like I don't like Adam. People watch them. Adam Sandler just do dramas for Christ's sakes. You're clearly good at them, so. Shut the fuck up and do dramas. Yeah, he just does what he feels like, and, you know, he has fun with it, and then sometimes does some serious stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, right, we're going to do a quick little speed run. Uh, I pulled up a news movie newses 
that volcano in the past a little bit. And I'm going to skim through them very quickly and see if any of them are interesting or if I just don't fucking care. Um, Hugh Grant cast as villain in Dungeons and Dragons movie. I saw that today. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so thumbs up, gonna... thumbs down. Give me uh, thumbs up. Thumbs up thumbs because up. Uh, the yeah. directors of Game Night and writers of okay, uh, I like Spider Man movies are That's fine. doing it. So oh, I mean, thumbs up. Huge cast. Thumbs up. I'll yeah. give a thumbs up. Uh, Schneider's cut creates a new problem for the DCEU. I don't know anything about that. So middle. I'm looking forward to it. It's coming on Crave on yeah. for Canada. And then HBO uh, Max for the U.S. and uh, March 18th. Yeah, okay. So look forward there. I heard about this. Eddie Murphy was forced to add white a white character yes. to coming to America. They just said that. Interesting. Uh, him and Arsenio Hall were talking about that. That the studio forced them to if they were going to add a white character. Interesting. Because they didn't want to be too black. Interesting. Which is kind of yeah. All right. Thumbs down for the studio up for Eddie Murphy. Yes, I agree. Uh. Mm-hmm. All six Justice League superheroes assemble in, assemble in well, oh, it's the poster. It's a nice poster. It's a nice it's poster. Black and white. Yeah, They're all in middle. the front. Yeah, middle. I'm it looks middle. like a regular yeah. poster. Yeah. Why can't Reeves appear in the SpongeBob movie? There's a whole article of why he's he did. Because he's got. It's always thumbs up for me, even though the movie's mediocre, but it's Keanu Reeves. So it's Keanu up. Reeves could just have a movie of him eating pasta, listening to music, and I would just, no dialogue, I would, biggest thumbs up ever. Because he's a nice, wholesome guy. <laughs> Okay, Disney uh, Disney's YouTube live stream the Rise of Skywalker trailer on repeat for 13 minutes. Thumbs down. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I, have, I have no comment for that one. Rise of Skywalker watching that trailer for 13 minutes straight. That's a thumbs down for me. <laughs> that movie's that terrible. Just a, a bad movie. Coming to America, cut Nutty Professor cameos. Thumbs down. I want to see that. <laughs> Damn it. Thumbs down. That's... Get the clumps in there. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I want. Sure. Hercules. Hercules. I was just thinking Hercules. Mm. Oh, you want a cold cousin? I'll show you cold cousin. Silent Night, Deadly Night reboot is in development. Oh my god. It's garbage day. <laughs> it's the dumbest series ever, but it is so thumbs bad. Down. It's good. I'm not I'm not looking forward to it. Thumbs down. I go Oh, thumbs down. I'm, I'm always thumbs up for those cheese. Thumbs up. Uh, no, I'm going oh, thumbs down. Great for that 80s one. stupid movie. No, I don't know about that. Oh Lord. <laughs> Brie Larson teases upcoming project with Tessa Thompson. Thumbs, They're good do it. Thumbs down. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs up. I don't give two fucks about that. I know you don't. Tom Clancy's Without Remorse movie teases trailer releasing tomorrow. I don't care. Thumbs down. I'll thumbs do a down. thumbs up. I like Michael B. Jordan. I, I do like, too, uh, but Tom Clancy. Uh, yeah. Thor 4. Oh, Melissa Murphy is such a perfect casting for fake hella. Oh, yeah. So Thank do you, you remember in Ragnarok when they were doing Yeah, when the they did the... Mm. Well, some set photos caught them recreating the uh, a new play about Thor Ragnarok of how, remember when uh, Thor and Loki yeah, go see Matt Dino. Damon. Yeah. yeah, so they came back and they're filming, and even Sam Neill came back as a Dian Odin, but they're dressed as like, yeah, where Thor-ki, Loki was wearing the uh, black suit. Remember when yeah. they go to, yeah. So. Most of Carthy. But though? that's what's funny is because she looks nothing, even in the set photos, you just see her in like the huge crown on her head from Hella where she's wearing green, and it's funny because she looks nothing like her. It's a joke. Couldn't they find something funnier? No, it would have been funnier. No, no, I'm telling you. You know what would have been funnier? Betty White. Yes. Oh, that would be. <laughs> Betty White. Just that said, would be funny. That's... I don't think she would. Because she's so that. old. Like, what? <laughs> but again, with the pandemic, it's hard to get people out there. So oh, yeah. it's film in Australia. Tenant opening in NYC this Friday, six months after its initial release. Yes. Thumbs down. Yeah, medium. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Frozen hints that Elsa's true powers are more than ice magic. Yes. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, who gives a shit? Uh, uh, watch the Top Gun Maverick trailer recreated in Legos. Mm-hmm. I don't want to watch that. Me neither. You ever go to the bathroom? I do. Okay. Do you have to take a shit? Uh, it's to be determined. Oh. I was like, I can finish the podcast. Uh, Borderlands movie casts MCU's young Gamora actress as... Tiny Tina. Uh, I haven't played Borderlands, so uh, go to the bathroom. Thank you for that. Go to the bathroom. Thank you for your permission. No problem. All right, people, I'm out. Have a good night. And Jordan, take it away. Yeah, I'll take it away. Here, go to the bathroom. So, uh, all right, I'm s- finishing up. Uh, Ryan had to leave because he had to go to the bathroom really badly. So maybe he'll be back, but probably not. Skimming through this news again. Uh, ben Affleck's. Batman has all new theme. Don't care. Disney's Little Mermaid live action movie cast Jessica Alexander. Don't care. Man, movie news just sucks nowadays. <laughs> Avengers Endgame writers don't worry about WandaVision or MCU future. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Lord. Uh, Tom Holland looks eerily similar to Tobey Maguire and Spider-Man deep fake video. Oh, yeah, I saw that. It looks pretty cool. Daisy really was reported to told Ray was no one until Rise of Skywalker. Oh, stupid. <laughs> uh, Golden Globes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll talk about that, actually. Let's talk about the Golden Globes. Before I finish out, this is gonna be a very um, this is gonna be a really really short podcast because Ryan just had to do a lot of things today. He's a very busy guy today, so uh, mostly he'll be talking to me, which is the only person who matters in this podcast. <laughs> so the Golden Globe winners. Let's talk about the winners and how I feel about them. Uh, best Picture Drama went to No Bad Land and it beat The Father, Mank, Promising a Woman, and The Trial of Chicago Sun. Out of these five films, No Bad Land wins, and I, I, I saw it coming. I would have given it to The Father, but mm, all very, it's very Oscar baby this year. So, yeah, Best Picture, uh, Motion Picture, Comedy, and Musical. It went to Borat, the second one which is absolutely ridiculous. I hated that fucking movie so much. <laughs> Such a stupid movie. Joe went to Hamilton or Palm Springs. Easily better films. Didn't see music or the prom. Don't care to see them, but Borat, no. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, this is weird. Uh, best Actress Motion Picture Drama went to uh, Andrea Day for United States versus Billie, the Billie Holiday. Um... I don't agree with that. It should have went to Frances McDormand because she is the best thing about uh, Nomadland, but okay, whatever. Best actor went to Chad with Bozeman, which I agree with. Uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom was a very good movie. I heard Rizzo Mondo is amazing, so uh, Anthony Hopkins, I think, gave one of the best performances, but yeah, Chad with Bozeman. I like Chad with Bozeman. Rosen Pike won Best Actress, Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy for I Care a Lot. Um, I guess I'd give it to maybe Anya Taylor Joy because I actually liked Emma, but eh, whatever. As long as uh, Borat didn't win anymore. Oh wait, look, Sasha Baron Cohen won. <laughs> he won for Borat. She went to for uh, she went to Andy Samberg or Lin Manuel Miranda for Hamilton, but whatever. Supporting actress went to Jodie Foster for the Martin. I don't know a movie I haven't seen. Uh, I would have given it to uh, Olivia Coleman or Glenn Close. I think Glenn Close and the Hillbilly Elegy is amazing. Despite a lot of people, how they don't like it. People are idiots. But Daniel Kluwer, Judas and the Black Messiah, 100% agree with. Uh, these were all pretty good nominations, actually. Uh, I had no problems with these supporting actor noms. And yeah, Judas. Yeah, Daniel Kluwer. He should have won it. That's good. Uh, best director, uh, Chloe Zhao for No Man Land. Um uh, I would have given it to Regina King, or I am a little annoyed that Minari got like nothing, but whatever. Oh yeah, that's not shocking. Screenplay went to Trial Chicago Sun Seven. Sorry, <laughs> Trial the Chicago Seven. Eh, I would have given it to the Father, but again, Minari wasn't nominated, so retarded. Soul won best uh, best animated feature. That is great. Uh, Wolf Walkers and Soul are the best ones, so that's good. Minori won best foreign film, which is good. It was the best. Foreign film and best film in general last year. Um, I think we're... Oh, um, what is this? Best score went to Soul. Yeah, I agree with that. That was a good score. Uh, best song went to... I don't know. Something. I don't know. I don't know the songs this year. but uh, And then there was TV. Best drama series was The Crown. Should have been The Mandalorian. Best new score comedy was Shit's Creek. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard great things. Um and other shit that I just don't care about. Oh yeah, Queen's Gambit, great show. That won uh best uh miniseries and she won uh Anya Taylor Joy, which is good. So oh yeah, Mark Ruffalo won too and gave a really boring, stupid speech, but whatever. Uh yeah, so Golden Globes sucked. I thought uh Tina Fey and Amy Fuller were horrendous hosts. They uh didn't say anything the slightest bit funny. <laughs> Uh, it just shows you Golden Globes aren't funny unless Ricky Gervais is there, you know. But Ricky, the Golden Globes just they just suck, they just really suck. And this, this last year was just a terrible film, ter terrible year for film, anyway. So, 
Uh, what's to expect? Uh, Minori was one of my favorite films of last year, and I'll be basically rooting for that film for everything, but it won't win a lot. It'll be the predictable Oscar baby films, and which is stupid. But uh, yeah, Golden Globes, they were terrible. Uh, I watched half of the show, got bored, turned it off, and then <laughs> and then the next day I just Googled what movies won because I, I, it was the first year ever I watched an award ceremony, and I didn't care. I just did not give a fuck. So, yeah, um, that's that's about it for us today. It's not going to be a long podcast today because uh, it's been very busy lately. So next episode will be really great, and it will actually be talking about something interesting and intellectual. Probably not, but still. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves.